Hey, this is Brett. Hope everybody's having a great day out there today, especially the Jeep fans. And I am extremely excited to go over this 2024 Jeep Grand Cherokee L Summit Reserve. This one is almost completely fully loaded with just about every option you could get on a Grand Cherokee L. It has the advanced ProTech 4 group. It also has the luxury tech group 5 and it has the hands-free active driving assist system on it and i'm going to go all the way around in this video inside show you all the options that's my goal for this video is to get you to show you every option that i can so it's going to be kind of a long video if you like the video subscribe to the youtube channel click the bell notifications and you'll get updates on the videos i do each and every day and let's get started on this one starting with the color this is midnight sky it is a very dark blue with a lot of metal flake in it. PCQ is the paint code. It's got a lot of purples and blues, even a couple green flakes in there, but really a cool color. And you're going to get the 21 inch painted alloy wheels on here. It has continental cross contact tires. These are 275 45R21s, and you can see the tread pattern there. It does have the air ride suspension on it. Up front, you get the LED headlamps, the LED running lights, and the LED fog lamps. I will turn those on at the end of the video. And you can see it has the front bumper parking sensors. It has the 360 camera. And I believe that's where your um, adaptive cruise and everything is located, as well as in the mirrors and windshield up there. Really like this midnight sky. The uh, high altitude package gives you the blacked out Jeep lettering. And just, uh, you get the blacked out Grand Cherokee lettering there with the American flag. And you get the blacked out backs to the mirrors. It does have the black roof as well. And you can see it does have the panel roof on there too. And we're gonna take a look at the original window sticker on this so you can see the pricing on it. And uh, we actually just took a deposit on this vehicle right before I started the video, but I told the sales guy I was going to do a video on, on, video on it no matter what. So um, this one is sold, but I uh, just wanted to show you all the options. It does have the receiver hitch, 4-pin and 7-pin wiring. You can tow up to 6,200 pounds with this vehicle. You get the dark chrome dual rear exhaust tips. And then the backup parking sensors, of course, the blacked out Jeep lettering, the Summit Grand Cherokee lettering there as well. This is a power lift gate. We do have the cover for that receiver hitch. I always put them in back before uh, so they don't get lost. And I actually put it back here before I found out we had a deposit on it. Uh, there are your jack tools. That's how you get your spare tire down. These third row seats are power, so they fold down like so. And then you also get the silhouettes of the Grand Cherokee and Grand Cherokee L new body style in the window there. You get USB, USB-C on both sides and cup holders back here. Rear air controls, there is a Jeep climbing up the side of that windshield. Uh, this is your subwoofer, LED lights back here and that's how you get that down. But you can see just how nice and flat that those seats go. You do get the Berber floor mats back here as well. And uh, to get these seats up, just press those buttons and you can actually just press them once and they'll come all the way out. And then to get this gate down, there's the button right here. Press that, it'll beep at you three times and then begin its descent. LED tail lamps on here as well. And down the driver's side, you do get the capless fuel fill. Uh, there's even a Jeep right there, little Easter egg. Um, notice the black trim around the windows. I believe that's all part of the high altitude package. And these door handles are actually two-tone. You get the black on top and the blue. I believe that's the blue on the bottom. Yeah, that's the blue on the bottom, black on top. And that's a gloss black. It's not diamond black. You do get the heated power mirrors, blind spot monitoring, built-in directional signals. These mirrors do fold in. It does have the enter and go system. You just have to have your key fob in your pocket and it'll automatically unlock. And I'll, I'll show you the window sticker in just a little bit, but it's also in the description below if you're on YouTube. Uh, you can check out the description um, or the window sticker on this one. And there's a full, uh, there should be a full description in the description as well with all the options. The high altitude package gives you these 
really nice stitched, kind of quilted stitched seats, kind of a copper stitching. You get the Berber floor mats in the second row. You get this nice center console, two cup holders. There's a storage area in there, and then there's also a big storage area underneath there. So lots of room for everybody's stuff. You get the gloss black on the center console, your rear air controls. These second row seats are heated and cooled. You get two USBs, two USB-Cs, 115 volt, 150 watt plug-in. To get to the third row, just kind of push that up like so, and you can see that actually slides on the track there. To get to that third row, you get the Berber floor mat back here as well, and the two-seater right there. You also have buttons right here to put those seats down if you need to. And then you get the um, family cam or fam cam as they call it, uh, which is a camera that shines down on the people here so you can see what's going on if your kids are fighting or whatever. And then you have the suede headliner as well. Very luxurious inside this vehicle. And then the luxury tech group gives you the side window shades, Luxury Tech Group 5. You get the really good looking wood grain trim on the door there. It has the ambient lighting underneath. You can see it right now it's blue and you can change that color to whatever you want. The Macintosh sound system. What I thought was neat was you can actually lock the doors from the second row seats, which is kind of interesting. Hopefully your kids are nice to you. Don't lock you out and you get child safety locks on the back doors. I guess you can lock them in and they can lock you up. So up front, you get the uh, same black leather bucket seats. There's the original window sticker. We're going to check that out in just a minute here. Uh, but you get the Summit embossed into the backrest. You get the gray piping up here. Both of these front seats are heated. Both of these front seats are cooled. Both of these front seats are power. And both of these front seats have massage features. You get the Berber floor mats up here, auto headlamps, power telescopic and tilt steering wheel. You get the wood grain trim, the gloss black dash trim on there. The wood grain trim flows nicely into that door. There's more ambient lighting under there. Power windows, locks and mirrors, memory driver seat, and then this is your massaging seat button. These mirrors do fold in. And how you do that is you turn this little knob to the fold position, and then you just turn it back to put them back out. Let's hop inside and check out everything that this one's got to offer. So here we go on the interior, and I'm gonna try, like I said, to show you every option that I can. Hopefully I can uh, do justice to this vehicle. Starting off, I have it in night vision right away, and it's, it's actually kind of an infrared system. And you can see there's the bollard that's right there, and then the door. So it's kind of a neat system, but it, it'd be much cooler at night, of course. And then um, we can go to the driver assist. You have your adaptive cruise controls there. Um, digital speedometer, obviously the 12 inch instrument cluster, outside temperature display, uh, lane departure warning stuff there as well. You get the leather wrapped wood grain trim, black, black gloss black trimmed steering wheel there. Cruise controls, adaptive cruise controls, and then this is your active driving assist button. Ready, no road information, because we're not on a road right now, but you have adaptive cruise control and the lane departure, so it kind of keeps you um, in on the road here. Get the Jeep logo, Bluetooth and information center controls. If you go to that, it'll bring up all your other information, um, widgets, I guess you could say, and you can select what you want on these widgets by pressing the buttons right here. And you can change these out to read pretty much whatever you want. You got uh, transmission, temperature, water temp, or is that oil temp? Um, I think that's oil temp, oil pressure, battery voltage, uh, oil percentage, tires. So you can just change all that stuff. It's really cool um, down here or over here, I should say, is your push button start, start stop capabilities, lane departure warning, stability control, hazard lights, parking sensors, your perpendicular and parallel parking assist. And this button turns on your passenger side screen, which this one has. And uh, you can plug in HDMIs into that screen so the passenger can do games or whatever they want to do on it. 
Then you have the 10 point, I think it's the 10.1 touchscreen radio on here. And this is the Uconnect 5 system. Yeah, I believe it's the 10.1 touchscreen radio. Um, anyways, you've got the Uconnect 5 system, the factory navigation on there. I believe it's powered by TomTom. Tom. And you have AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities, Bluetooth, USB, AUGS, and Alexa hookups as well. You need your climate controls here, including the dual climate controls, heated cooled seat buttons, heated steering wheel controls. You have your different vehicle stuff. Uh, I tried doing pictures of all this stuff, and there's just so much to go over. I mean, there's driver profiles, which is right here. You got the entertainment screens, device manager, navigations, passenger screen permissions, uh, safety and driving assistance, all this stuff on here that you can edit. And that's all under vehicle. Clock, date, Bluetooth, voice, navigation, cameras, Mirrors, wipers, lights, brakes, doors, locks, seats, key off options, suspension options, just accessibility software updates, information, reset. I mean, like, there's just, I could spend an hour just going over this radio, which we're going to go over some of this. I uh, want to start off with the surround view cameras. So you get the surround view camera there. Everything is HD cameras. Everything's crystal clear. And you can see the backup camera, the front camera, the narrow front camera. Uh, the actual backup camera to hook up your hitch. You can zoom in on that hitch. You get hooked up to your boat camper or trailer the first time. Every time you got the front trail cam. So as I turn that that wheel, those lines are dynamic, so they change. So if you're off roading, you can make sure you're not going to hit any rocks and ruin your 21 inch painted, probably two thousand dollar wheels um, on there. And you can clean the camera. It's got a little washer on it, so that's pretty cool. But a lot of cool stuff with the cameras there. You also have the family camera, which is really cool. So you can see what's going on. There's the third row seat, the second row seats. And you can actually see I'm right there. Hello. Um, but you can also zoom in on different parts. So like if you want to zoom in on that seat, you can just press this. So somebody's having a problem back there, throwing a tantrum. You can uh, click on them and say, hey, what's going on? And you can see what they're doing without turning around and potentially causing an accident, which is really cool uh, to be able to do that. Here's your ambient lighting. You can change the colors. Right now you can see it's set on blue. We can change that to uh, cyan or aqua, white, yellow, red. And then, yeah, so you can change all the colors to pretty much whatever you want. You can change the top and the bottom if you wanted to do that. That'd be kind of a cool combo. Um, anyways, just a lot of really cool stuff you can do. That's for the floor down there, of course. And then we have all the apps on here. So you got your media. A lot of this stuff is just links to different parts of the radio. You have your massage seats, which is my favorite feature on the Grand Cherokee here is the massaging seats. Really like those. Um, then you have your front controls, your rear air. Uh, but yeah, you can... Vehicle's got to be in run mode for that to go. But uh, all your other apps right here. You got your Comfort, Nav, Phone, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. They are wireless on this system. Uh, all your different apps here. You have off-road pages. I told you it's going to be a long video. You got your steering angle, transfer case, rear axle. If it's locked or unlocked, you got your accessory gauges, pitch and roll select terrain suspension and oh no you have your forward facing camera once again but uh let's do the select terrain so that's part of this system right here there's a little paddle shifter right there so if i press that up we're going to go to sand mud rock mode um which it's got to put it into off-road mode so it takes just a little bit, and it's actually raising the vehicle right now with that air suspension. Um, so that's pretty neat. It takes the traction control off, and uh, then you're in rock mode, or sand mud mode. Anyways, you can go back down to snow mode, auto, and then sport puts you on the racetrack, and then you can use those paddle shifters that are on the steering wheel. And then this is your four-corner air suspension. Uh, the air ride suspension, you can go to off-road road, 
off-road mode one or two. You get normal mode and then entry exit mode. So there's actually four different modes and it's, I believe it's an inch for each one of those modes. You have your wireless cell phone charge pad, two USBs, two USB-Cs and an AUX jack. That HDMI hookup is for the passenger screen, 12 volt power point there as well, downhill assist control. There's a neutral setting for flat towing and then there's a four wheel drive low system. Also get your keyless entry with remote start and power lift gate. And we're not done here. Um, that's just your off-road pages. You have your system stuff right here. Other, and that's everything with the radio. So just a ton of stuff with that radio. Once again, um, just the dash, really a nice setup. Looks really classy, really refined. You get the suede headliner. It does have the second row. Uh, fixed glass roof, the power sunroof in front. Up here, your map lights, assistant SOS buttons, rear gate button. Uh, you get a place for your cell, or, uh, sunglasses and your sunroof and sunshade controls. This one also has the rear view mirror camera. So that is a video display of what's going on behind you. And if you want to make it just a normal rear view mirror, you can do that. Um, and it is auto dimming when it's in that mode, but uh, it is an actual video camera of what's going on behind you. So. That's a lot of cool stuff. And then you have your home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lighting systems. All right, as promised, uh, let's go under the hood first, but I'm gonna turn on all the lights so that you can see how bright they are. And I'm actually gonna turn off the lights in the picture studio so you can see just how bright they go. And I'd personally like to thank you for checking out the video today. Remember, we're gonna check out the window sticker in just a second here, uh, but you can see those lights are very bright. And under the hood, we have the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine. It does have the hood shocks. Um, everything that you need is gonna be in yellow, your washer fluid, uh, oil, where you put the oil in, everything's in yellow there. So not, really not that much to do. There's your coolant and your battery um, hookup is right there. That's not where your battery is. I believe they're under this one of the seats in this vehicle. Uh, but here's your emission sticker as well and i'm going to turn off the lights in the studio so you can see just how bright these illuminate the door there all right so you can see just how bright those lights are they look really good too and i love how much they illuminate look how far over they illuminate you know there's got to be a good 20 to 30 feet that gets illuminated by those lights uh, the fog lights are actually doing a really big part of that. But you can see just how bright they are. And as we come around to the back, you get the LED tail lamps. They look really good as well. You know, LED lights are proven to shine faster, brighter um, than normal halogen lights. And uh, let's turn everything back on in the studio and we'll check out the original window sticker and we should be done. Let me know if I missed anything in the comments below. All right, let's check out the original window sticker here. Feel free to pause this. I'm not going to go through everything, but most of it. And uh, remember, this is going to be linked in the description below on YouTube, so you can uh, check it out there. 2024 Jeep Grand Cherokee L Summit Reserve 4x4 Midnight Sky Exterior Paint Global Black Interior Palermo Leather Seats 3.6 liter V6 8 speed automatic transmission. Comes standard with a Quadratrack 2 system, the electronic limited slip differential rear axle, select terrain system, traffic sign recognition, hands free power lift gate. So, all this stuff on the left here is your standard equipment with the Summit Reserve package the 10.1 inch touchscreen radio, the amplified speakers with subwoofer, heated seats, ventilated seats. That's all standard. Second row buckets with manual entry. Um, third row of seats, the power driver seat with back massager. So a lot of stuff came standard on the Summit Reserve. Now the optional equipment starts with the Midnight Sky exterior paint, $595. The customer preferred package 23U is $4,480, which gives you the front passenger interactive display, the 21 inch all season tires, the Palermo leather seats, the 19 speaker high performance, Macintosh audio system, active noise control system, 950 watt amplifier, ventilated rear seats, deluxe headliner, Palermo leather door trim. 
Advanced ProTech Group 4 is $2,865, which gives you the windshield wiper de-icer, the head-up display, I forgot to show that, um, night vision with pedestrian animal detection, rear view, auto dimming digital display mirror, and interior rear facing camera, which is the fam cam. High altitude package is $2,025, which gives you the 21 inch by 9 inch painted black aluminum wheels, gloss black exterior accents as well. Luxury Tep Group 5 is a $905 option, which gives you the second row um, window shades and the wireless cell phone charge pad, which is right there if I forgot to mention that too. I tried. It's just so many options on this vehicle. Hands-free active driving assist system with trial, obsolescence, exhaust parts. $2,995 for that system. And this is could be the most expensive other than like a track hawk or um, a really loaded up trail hawk. I, I don't know if I've ever seen or maybe like a 4 by e or something, but this is one of the most expensive Grand Cherokees you can get. $80,220. Um, it will be on our website for a couple more days after I get this video up, but this one is sold. But if you want to see what we were selling it for, um, you might be able to click the link in the description below to uh, check that out. But check out our website, summitauto.com, uh, just to see what we have in stock for Grand Cherokees because we have one of the largest selections in Wisconsin. Three-year 36 bumper to bumper, five-year 60 powertrain. You're going to get 25 highway, 18 city, 21 average. And there's your greenhouse and smog ratings. And look at the safety ratings. Five stars, almost completely up and down the board. Only rollover is a four. So a very, very safe vehicle. You definitely want to be driving in this with your family um, to keep them safe. So that is everything that I have for this vehicle. Take a look at the passenger side seat there with all the buttons and stuff. And like I said, if there's anything I missed, call me out in the comments. I want to get better. I want to know more. But uh, thank you so much for checking out the video. If you like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And to see more pictures of this Jeep or one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, Grand Cherokees, Grand Cherokee Ls, Wagoneers, Grand Wagoneers, you name it, we got it. Go to the website right there, summitauto.com. Full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle, all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Click the bell notifications, get updates on the videos I do each and every day, as well as having access to one of the largest catalogs of vehicle and SCB walkarounds on YouTube and stay current on our ever-changing and vast SCB inventory so you do not miss out on gems like this one. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to all the Grand Cherokee videos that I've done in the upper right, a link to our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out, and we are super excited be, to be offering the 2024 Jeep Grand Cherokee L, uh, especially the Summit Reserves with the high altitude package and all the options like this one. And thank you so much for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the video and have a great day.